chances are that either you or someone you know has been diagnosed with low iron, anemia, iron deficiency, whatever you want to call it. Basically, they're telling you that you need more iron. And I want to share a little bit with you in just a few minutes about why that really doesn't exist and why nine times out of 10, probably even more than that, you just need to help the iron that you have work for you, not necessarily take more. So really, when we get down to it, if we want to start at the end and work our way back, iron deficiency really is a deficiency in retinol, which is the active form of vitamin A. So let's let's dig into this just a minute. So we have a sophisticated iron recycling system in our body. And so the average person has about 5,000 milligrams of iron, five, four to 5,000 milligrams of iron, let's say. And that is supporting 25 trillion red blood cells in our body. And so every 24 hours, the body loses about 1% of, it, of its red blood cells, which means that 250 billion red blood cells have to be replaced every 24 hours. So it only takes 25 milligrams of iron to support that. And 24 milligrams of that iron comes from the recycling system that I mentioned that everyone has. And so really, overall, we need one milligram of iron per day. And the way that our food system is set up with all of the added iron and processed foods and all of the iron that comes in through even fresh foods and vegetables that we eat, really the dietary standard is much, much more than even 25 milligrams of iron per day. So the body doesn't need all of that iron, right? Especially if you think about the fact that we have this iron recycling system and if it's not working properly because of that retinol deficiency, then we're just intaking more and more and more iron and it's not being used in our body. And so let's go back to this whole recycling system. So the body doesn't need that level of iron as long as the bioavailable copper, which copper and retinol play a close role in that, is available. And, and that is really what helps it to be able to be recycled in this recycling system. So the body doesn't need that level of iron as long as it has what it needs to allow the iron to get get into this recycling system, do what it needs to do. And really in that recycling system, it gobbles up these dying red blood cells because that is part of that recycling system. And so the the kind of doorman that uh, lets, lets things in and out, um, the doorman that releases the iron is the copper. And so it allows the iron to hook on to something called transferrin, which is a transport protein. And it takes it back to the bone marrow, which helps to work with the red blood cells. And this is whole transport chain. So many people are told they are anemic for the wrong reasons. So hopefully you can see what even this little bit of information that I've given you here is that we have this sophisticated iron recycling system. Our body knows what to do, but the fact that our iron recycling system is not working properly because of two reasons, a deficiency in retinol and a deficiency in copper because those are the two things that are needed to really activate that recy re recycling system. And so it's not that we don't have enough iron, it's that our iron is not working for us in this recycling system. And this is something that is, has been really gone unnoticed for so, so long. I'm going to be talking about it in the next few videos that I do in the next few weeks. I, I re release a new um, YouTube video every single Monday. And so be on the lookout for the next few weeks. I'm going to be going into how this can affect our health because the thing is, as I mentioned at the very first of this video, either you or someone you know has probably been told they are anemic and might even be on an iron supplement right now. But with this information, you can see that we do not need more iron. We need our iron recycling system to work for us. And really, it kind of all goes back to that retinol and copper plays a really big role in that. But the thing is, our, even our food system, we used to get so much more retinol, which is the active form of vitamin A. We used to get so much more copper from our foods. But because of acid rain, because of chemicals like glyphosate, because of the soil conditions, 
we don't get nearly like a very, very small fraction of what we used to get from our food. And it used to be a whole lot more balanced. So we didn't have a lot of these problems. But now, because of all those things I mentioned, we are very deficient in copper and in retinol. So I hope this just kind of sheds some light on, on this subject for you because it's something that causes a lot of issues. And again, we're going to be kind of going in more to detail on some of those issues in the next few YouTube videos. So if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel because I love putting out information that really it kind of maybe um, breaks down a complex subject or answers a question, or it just helps you to be able to see at a fundamental foundational level, what can I do to move forward in my health? Why am I having this issue? And keep asking that question, that key question of why. So tune in for more videos. You can always go back and see my previous videos, but I release one, a new one every Monday. And so subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified of that. Check out the ways that you can connect with me down in the description below this video, and I will see you on the next one.